past the zebras. It was a bit unexpected. Welcome to Roughing It with Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. So the dogs and I just got back from another really fun walk in the nature reserve. But as usually happens, we did come across a bit of wildlife while we were walking. So I just wanted to make this video with my own personal tips for what I do when I encounter wildlife with my dogs. This is not meant to be expert advice. I'm not an expert on this at all. But I've found these things work pretty well for me. The number one thing for me is to keep your dog on a leash and under control. I try to keep my dogs fairly close to me. And because I'm a fairly small person and I know my, my arms are like kind of pathetically weak, I tie my dogs to my waist, but it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. Even if they pull me over, they still have to drag my 55 kilograms of dead weight around behind them so they, they can't get anywhere very fast. And so on that note, I also feel like it's fairly important to get used to walking with your dogs and to just get used to your dog's behavior and teach them to walk reasonably well on a leash. The very first thing that I do when I notice that there's an animal is I stop walking or stop running. And this is important because you need to assess the situation before you take action. So some animals you're going to have to back away from and you're going to have to choose a different trail. Some animals will run away from you and you can continue on the trail. Some animals will be standing far enough away that there isn't really a problem. And it's pretty important with wildlife to also note that the animal that you see it might not be the only animal out there. It's also quite important to know more or less how different wildlife is going to react because what I've found is that different types of wildlife react very differently. Just with the large game animals in the Fairy Glen Nature Reserve, there are three types in the Fairy Glen Nature Reserve at the moment. They are zebra, and they are red hartebeest, which is a type of antelope, and then there are impala. Even though my dogs know that they are not allowed to chase any animals, the instinct to run after something that is fleeing is pretty strong. So often if we come across Impala or Hartebeest and they suddenly take off running, one or both of my dogs will lunge after them before I tell them not to and they stop. So you do have to be prepared for a sudden pull against the leash. The next thing that I always try to remember, and for me this is the most important part of encountering wildlife when I've got my dogs with me particularly is I try to stay calm. So I try to keep tabs on how fast my heart rate is, how fast my breathing is. And if I can feel that I'm a little bit anxious, then I try to consciously slow down my breathing. It's very easy to transmit tension to your dogs by pulling very hard on a leash or gripping a leash very tightly. So I don't immediately grab the leashes and pull on the dog. I just stop walking, make sure the dogs have stopped. And if I'm not confident of my ability to keep them calm and keep them under control, then I prefer to back away from the wildlife rather than continuing on. And then the other thing that is extremely important is you have to maintain your equipment. So your leash and your harness or collar or whatever you're using to walk your dog, you do need to check it after every single walk make sure that it's in good repair because the point at which your dog is leaping and lunging and going to pieces is not the point at which you suddenly remember oh there's a tear through one of the webbing straps of my harness I wonder if it's going to hold. I do always carry a can of mace with me. It's not really for wildlife it's more for personal protection. If I was actively being attacked by an animal I would be happy to know that I had this mace on me and I would probably try to use it. It's definitely not going to be very pleasant for them, but if it's a situation where you're actually being attacked by a stray dog or something, then having some mace on you I think could be a lifesaver. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one.